Hey folks, how y'all doing? Fat Guy Flies RC. He fly valiant. Can't go wrong. Tell you what. Takeoff flaps. Landing flaps. We've got some of some very, very strong gear. Now one thing you can do is you can take these uh, wheel skirts off with a couple screws here and put you some tundra tires on here and then this becomes a bush plane. But I tell you what, this is by far the best second aircraft. Once you get a good trainer under your belt, like a Hobby Zone uh, Sport Cub S2 or, or the Park Zone Sport Cub S2 or the Carbon Cub S2, you know, or an E-Flight Apprentice, once you get them under your belt and you're ready for something that's still high wing but got some sport to it, got some speed to it, and you can have some fun with, right here, the E-Flight Valiant. It is, it is billed as the perfect second plane, and I do agree, it is the perfect second plane. And don't worry, prop is off. I would not have it that close to my face otherwise. What do you say we take her up and have some fun? All right. That's right, here we go. It's windy, it's nasty, but that's all right. If you wait for a perfect day to fly, you'll never fly. Timer set for five minutes. All right, wind is basically that way. So it's right down the right, right down the runway. So that's good, at least. If I can get this thing to turn against the wind. There we go. This is another one of them planes that I'm very, very comfortable with. All right. And she tracks real well. Even though she's a tail dragger, she tracks really well on the ground. All right. Right aileron, left aileron, up elevator, down elevator, right rudder, left rudder. There's takeoff flaps. There's landing flaps. Don't think we're going to need either one of those things. All right, timer set for five minutes. Motor on. Let go. Let that tail get up off the ground. And let her lift off. I chose the Valiant today because I have, as you can see, nothing but a blue sky, no clouds, and nothing to fly against, you know, as far as a background. Now I got them flaps down all the way, and I'm just kind of riding the wind because I got that west wind, and I'm just enjoying a little bit of windsurfing right now almost holding her still all right take the flaps up kick her in the butt all right and with my valiant and if you buy a valiant you must check You gotta check that motor mount because I don't know maybe it's one in every 30 one in every hundred I don't know but you'll can some of them have a problem with the motor mount detaching where it attacks the where the glue attaches it to the fuselage causing a terrible vibration and then making your motor and your whole front front half of the plane just come violently tearing off. Oh, well, we gotta do something about that beeping. I'm not gonna put up with that. Okay. Give me just a second, folks. Gotta go to my timer. If you, if you keep having your, every time you hit the sticks, you keep having that beep, go to timer, go next, where it says clear, go to the next screen. You see all where it says voice and all that, go to that very next screen. And then if you'll see, it says timer control alerts, timer start, timer stop, timer reset, it says tone, inhibit that. 
and I know you probably won't be able to see it with the sun, but in, inhibit each of those, and then you won't have that constant beeping. All right. Let's go back to having a little bit of fun here. I'm running a, chronic, a China Hobby Chronix 3600 3S. She's a 3S bird. Now, E-Flight, listen, y'all. Private Hobby, listen to me. You need to bring this plane back, or you need to, I know you're still sell her, but you need to come out with a four cell version, okay, with lights, and give it a, 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 a Tundra tire option. That would be awesome. So many people are doing that anyways. And let me make sure I'm not hearing a vibration. Whenever she, hold on just a second, okay? I'm gonna stand, hold the tail, props out in front of me. Motor off. <laughs> okay we're fine we're fine let that tail come up and then just let her lift off all right now you can go in there and them wheels and they make that awful e-flight landing gear racket what you can do is uh i know i don't need landing flaps but um you can go in there and get food grade silicone basically food safe silicone silicone that uh like they use on machinery that works on food <laughs> and you can grease them wheels i got takeoff flaps in all right don't really need flaps right now I mean, if you're trying to slow your plane down, you know, the wind will do just fine. Your wind will be your speed brake. So I'm flying into the wind right now. So she's slowing down just fine. <laughs> Never touched. Never touched. Well, I tell you what, I do love the Valiant. It is just an absolutely, an incredible, incredible flying craft. Great second plane. Now, it could be your first plane if you had, say, some simulator time. You know? Oh, wow. Landing flaps are perfect for takeoff flaps. <laughs> Let me show you that again. Um, might want to work a little when you got the strong wind you might need to work a little bit of uh, rudder into your turn but uh, let's land again now I want to show you something I'll get behind her <laughs> all right okay it's windy all right I'm going to put this out in front of me so y'all can see I've got landing flaps on, okay? I'm not going to touch hands over here. I'm not, hands are going to be underneath the, trans, the transmitter. I am not going to touch, I'm going to have it ready though for ailerons. I'm not going to touch the, the elevator. <laughs> flaps up. That's cool. <laughs> Didn't have to use the elevator. The landing flaps, she lifted off just fine. Which that's what you really want. Actually, that's what I need for takeoff flaps. I probably need to drop them down more for landing flaps and then take the elevator or the takeoff flaps and make them a little more. All right. Bring them down a little bit. All right. We're, let's just do that real quick. Just indulge me for just a second. Okay, so take off flaps. We will put them at about 50, or about 25%. Yeah. And we'll make them 50. We'll make them 50. Yeah. All right, sorry. I'll, maybe I'll fast forward through some of that there. 
All right, all right, let's bring her back here so I can look at that. And let's see if, how that looks. All right, what I did was, all right, you remember how the landing flaps were before? They barely came down. Flap. Now they come down a decent amount. So let's see if they'll, she'll lift off the ground. Yeah, that's perfect. Those are perfect. What, what you're wanting to do with the takeoff flaps is you're wanting to be able for the plane to gently lift off on its own without any elevator input at all. Because she did it great with the landing flaps, so now takeoff flaps are even better. All right. Boy, that's just, now there are no flaps this time. <laughs> Touch and go. Y'all watch my channel, you say you, I, you just love the way you just do takeoffs and landings, takeoffs and landings. And that's very easy for me to do because that's what I love to do. And it's easy to do something you love. But it's awfully windy. Awfully windy. Windy, windy, windy. Oh, walking the dog is easy with this one. And what walking the dog is, is something I, I kind of coined the term. And what that is, is basically it's an extended, Time it's an extended touch and go. I've forgotten how easy it is to do with this plane. And all it is, of course I'm flying against the wind, so that helps. Okay, hold on. Now I can't seem to do it. <laughs> I didn't do it that time. All that is, is I'm running on the gear and I never let the tail, never let the tail settle in and touch. All right. Flaps. Now the turbo timber uh, evolution does it really well. Got landing flaps in this time, not that I need them. Tail still ain't touched. <laughs> A little bit of nice little touch and go there. But yeah, I, I had to pick this plane. Yellow planes are planes that have a real distinct markings. Because when you don't have any clouds to fly against, to give you a background, it, it comes out really lousy on the bounce and go. Comes out lousy on the uh, video. It's hard to tell depth when you can't see anything behind it. All right. Let's try a little grass ops. The grass has been gr cut fairly recently, so it's not super, um, not super uh, thick, but this is thick grass. Now, if you got a great big old heavy, heavy uh, balsa plane, a heavy wood plane, then yeah, grass won't matter. But these light little foamies, they're real prone to, to nose over in that grass. So tell you what, let's do this. Land it again. We got a minute. Land it again. In the grass. Hopefully it won't nose over. And what you want to do, as soon as you're committed to, on the ground, you're going to get that full up elevator. Okay? Keep that tail planted. Okay? Now we have landed. Full up elevator. Now I know you normally I wouldn't need takeoff flaps, but I want to get out of this grass as quick as I can. All right. All right. All right, see? Try turning her. All right. Now I just get her rolling. There you go. That's one thing, if you're stuck like that, give her some gas and get full right rudder, full left rudder, get that tail up and try to change the direction of that plane and that'll sometimes get you up out of that rut so all right see if we can land in the grass again no rudder no elevator no sorry no flaps and no nose over all right let's do it again no flaps if you get her rolling you're usually pretty good all right sorry about the sun Yeah, I know. Timer, my time's expired. My fun is over. A little bit.
bit of rudder there keeping the wings level keeping the wings level keep my nose up and set her in okay there you go folks there you go motor, motor off that is the e-flight valiant it's a 1.3 meter wingspan full fit five minutes of flying let's take it number one look at how beautiful that bird is that's a good looking bird got them nice markings underneath the wings to help you for orientation she is a bottom loader so that is a an issue but that's not a huge issue it really is there's where i've got the 3600 chronics 3s that's actually a 3s battery and it's such a little bitty battery and it's 3600 at that okay so it's a big 3s and uh see what kind of juice i have in the tank as gb linden likes to say all right on my smart checker oh gosh probably not gonna be able to see it because the sun i got 66 percent 3.9 3.92 20 0.92 all the way down six i could have flown for three more minutes easy all right so you can fly you get a big 3s in there 3000 or better if you can fit it in there shoot 10 minutes easy all right folks well there you go that is the e-flight valiant one beautiful beautiful bird the perfect second plane for sure and could be your first plane if you use the safe you know you got some simulator time have an instructor always get your ama license i don't care if you join a club or not but definitely get your ama license it's protection for you and uh but get to an ama club if at all possible they usually have instructors they, there's almost always someone there that'll help you folks thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe god bless y'all and don't forget faith family and friends and then planes bye bye